Do you want to see the Mori? That's just Freddy's Mori. That's literally just Freddy's Mori with a stupid drone on the right. Hello everyone, this is Potato Legion here. I hope you are keeping very well. In today's video, we're going to cover everything you need to know about the PTB. We have a new killer and two new survivors. Let's not mess about and learn everything we need to know about this PTB update. So, we have the Skull Merchant. So, the Skull Merchant, I'm not going to go into her backstory, she is a 4.6 killer with a 32 meter tear radius, very basic. So, eyes in the sky, the Skull Merchant starts the trial with 4 drones. Pressing the power button places a drone which enters active mode after a short boot up period. In this mode, the drone creates a detection zone around itself. Within it, the killer is undetectable and survivors gain lock-on progress. The drone reverts to scouting mode when no survivors are detected for a while. In scouting mode, the drone begins a sweeping scan and if it finds a survivor, it re-enters active mode. Survivors can interact with the drone to disable it. If they fail, it enters active mode. If they succeed, it returns to the killer. But a survivor is stuck with a claw trap. Special effect, Claw Trap. A Claw Trap broadcasts the survivor's location to the killer until its battery dies. If they get too close to the drone, it enters active mode and a Claw Trap's battery is recharged. The killer can press the active ability button to open a radar to see the locations of survivors with Claw Traps and those in the detection zone. Special effect, Lock On. When full, the survivor is revealed by Killer Instinct while inside a drone's detection zone and suffers from the exposed status effect until the meter discharges or they're put into the dying state. Seems like she's a very tracky type killer. Okay, interesting power. For whack? After hooking a survivor, the next breakable wall or pallet you break will make the survivors within 32 meters scream and reveal their auras for 4 seconds. Not a bad information perk actually. Leverage! Each time you hook a survivor, gain one token up to 10. When you hook a survivor, this perk activates. For each token, reduce the speed at which survivors heal by 5% for 30 seconds. Game afoot. While you are chasing the obsession, this perk activates. Damaging generators and breaking walls or pallets gives you a 5% haste status effect for 10 seconds. Whenever you hit a survivor with the total most time in a chase with basic attack, they become the obsession. Okay, then let's read his perks. Blood Rush. This perk activates once you are one hook away from instant death. While healthy, running, and suffering from exhaustion, press the active ability button one to lose a health state and recover from exhaustion instantly and gain the broken status effect for 20 seconds. You are automatically healed from injured to healthy after 20 seconds. Being put into the dying state will cancel healing effect. I can't wait for this to be abused and used. Have fun, killer mains. Teamwork, collective stealth. When someone helps you out, you respond in kind. Whenever another survivor finishes healing you, you both leave no scratch marks as long as you stay within 12 meters of the survivor who healed you or until one of them loses a health stake. It can only be triggered once every 140 seconds. I'm sorry, so far the survivor perks are much better than the killer ones. Background player. After you unhook another survivor, break into a sprint at 150% of your normal running speed for 6 seconds and gain exhaustion. Nice! This is going to be great for endgame when you unhook that last survivor and just yeet on out of there. Okay, I like the fact there's a new exhaustion perk based off hooks though, so that's not too bad. 6 seconds and gain exhaustion. That's insane, dude. I didn't even see 6 seconds. Damn, 6 seconds! Friendly competition! Whenever you finish... Repairing a generator with at least one other survivor, this perk activates. You and the other survivor who finish repairing the generator with you get 5% increased repair progress speed for 75 seconds. Power of 2. Whenever you finish healing another survivor, you both move 5% faster as long as you stay within 12%. Sorry, 12 meters of each of the survivor you healed or until one of you loses health state. 
Cut loose. After performing a rush vault in a chase, this perk activates. While this perk is active, your rush vaults are silent for up to six seconds. And successfully performing a rush vault during that time resets the timer. Do you want to see the Mori? That's just Freddy's Mori. That's literally just Freddy's Mori with a stupid drone on the right. Let's do it. McMillan, we're on the new map. Uh, we are on a new killer, drone killer Chan. And let's actually have a legit game and see how well we do. Right. I'm going to find the closest free gen and I'm just going to put drones here. If I, I need to actually think about my drone positioning so that I can get a bigger radius. Like here, maybe. Okay. What if I put the drone like high up? Like up here? It's not dumb, you're dumb. Why can't I paste down a drone? Because it's too close to one? Are you joking? Okay, there you go. I have four drones lit. Not a single one is propped yet. This power's fun. Ah, they're on the one area. Okay, well, I've set up my drones. Let's do it. You better pray you're a good M1 killer. Now you're exposed. Okay. I mean, in a sense, she does have a bit of anti-loot because you can put down a drone, the survivor will become exposed. So he's disabled one of my drones and now has a thingy on. And he's over here. And you just leave the area, I guess. You counted it immediately. Good job. <laughs> oh, that's a really annoying window. What the fuck? Was this like... What? Okay. I'm still trying to figure out what the point of this killer is.
Yeah, basically. There's like no punishment for staying in the force field. Other than the fact that killer can find you. She's very territorial. She's just a camping killer. So... I'm literally just camping. If someone triggers a thing, I just go after them and kick the gen. That's literally it, the power. Why is that one yellow? They're not more, way more campy. She's good at zoning, I guess, because you don't want to stay in the drone area for too long. You can run in and out of a drone field without being exposed. Oh, you're exposed now. You gotta be careful. I feel like survivors will figure out how to counter this in two seconds. Bring slow down. Camp gens. Easy peasy stoinks. Oh, this is that new window. Oh, I get you anyway. Oh. What? Screen buff? I'm gonna put it here instead. Oh no, I wanna put it in between the, the things. I can't even put it by the hook, that's annoying. I mean, I'll keep a drone on me for anti loop. There's no point using the radar until somebody has disarmed the drone. The drones make you exposed if you stay in the radius for too long. And it notifies the killer. That's literally all it does. And in this case, the drone couldn't even see them. I'll make a video about the perks soon. Okay, so we just... Right here. You guys don't think this killer's fun?
they're, they're both. There's two people in that gen, but the drone isn't defending it. Oh, there must be a way to put a drone on a drone. Can I put a drone bang on a gen? To stop them doing this. Hold on. Can I? Let's try that. Let's see if that stops them. They do it like this there. That didn't detect you on it. What's the point of me having it? The only place to put the drones is on gens. Oh, there you go. You have to put it actually on the generator. Okay, there you go. I'm figuring things out. So stand right by it, right on its butt, and then deploy. Then I can see where Jill is. Oh no, you deactivated my drone. What will I do? Hey, Huntress, how's it going? You can see if I've got radar on you? What? How does it feel going against a new killer? I wonder. At least I'm 12 hooking. That's why they nerfed eruption. They nerfed eruption because it's killer. I'm telling you. I can't even see radar throughout like the entire map. I can see you. There's no hiding from her, but then the survivor knows that you know. You guys ready for- watch this. Oh, Jill's just tra- my thing. And with the add-on, you can see Aura's too, so you know which drone it is. Imagine you have a free gem and they're right next to each other. It's like there's no counter.
Oh, you're using a new perk. Nice. That double exhaustion perk is stupid. Dude, you got so much distance. And against her as well, it's so bad to be... You guys understand how bad this killer is. The double exhaustion is going to be so stupid. With Vigil as well, you'll basically be able to just constantly use double exhaustion. At, at what? A risk of potentially getting hit. The amount of distance you can get with double exhaustion is just stupid. You can't double dead hard. You can double like life and sprint burst, but you can't double dead hard. Balance landing, yeah. My drones aren't even picking you guys up. You have to be on death hook though. Why can't I see your radar? Is one out of battery? That was a poor use of it, but yeah, you can sprint burst while you do it. There you go, that's her power. I don't know how else to use it in a smarter, more fun way. Terrible killer. Mm, it's disappointing. Survivor perks are way more fun. F tier. Yeah. I am Kirai Yoshikage, age 33. My house is in the west of the city of Morioucho. I am not married.